what's up everyone so in this video you are going to learn all the details about the official match ball of uefa euro cup 2020 and this is soccer bazaar your football kids store where you will be able to get all details regarding football now this is also the youtube companion of uefa euro cup 2024 u where you are not going to miss a single moment of the euro cup 2020 so before going to the detailed description of the match ball of uefa euro cup 2020 intro now so, as we are discussing about the official match ball of UEFA 2020, so let's divide the whole video. So, in this video, what we are going to describe, we are first of all going to discuss about the name of the official match ball, the cause of its name, or the reason behind giving the name, and what are the characteristics of the ball, what is the ball design, color, its uh, strokes, what, what, what are the reason behind the ball design and all these things we are going to discuss in this particular video. So the name of the official match ball of UEFA Euro Cup 2020 is 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 Adidas Uniforia. Now as the name goes, Adidas Uniforia. Uni means unity, Foria means euphoria. Both are going to get exhibited in this particular format of tournament by the top national teams around Europe. Now let's talk about the characteristics of the ball. If we go to the characteristics of the ball, so we will see it has a better shape position, it has a better flat stability, it has a better durability, also it has a better printability after the bounce now what are all these characteristics what they uh, play a role in a particular match if you want to know comment down below we will discuss in a separate video but for now let's jump to the next section that is the ball design now if we talk about the ball design it is better it will be better to announce a particular thing is that this year UEFA Euro Cup is going to celebrate its 60th anniversary. Yeah, you heard it right. It's 60th anniversary and to commemorate this particular uh, achievement, UEFA is going to conduct this particular tournament in a very different format from the one that we had earlier, even in 2016. So there is a change in the format and it is well known that this year UEFA Euro Cup 2020 is going to be hosted in 12 different cities of Europe and this actually promote the unity and fraternity around Europe. Now this particular motive has been also been reflected in the match ball. The match ball is predominantly white, it has a black strokes of brush running all over it okay and in between the brush strokes there are stripes in neon blue neon pink and neon green and the logo is also the black colored adidas logo now let's jump into the ball design okay i mean the detail of the ball design so what is the detail is that we have said that this is going to, the, to be the 60th anniversary of UEFA Euro Cup 2020. So to commemorate that UEFA is going to promote unity around Europe and therefore 12 different countries has been the host for this particular game. So this has been also been reflected in this particular match ball. If we go to the match, match ball uh, design, so we will see that the brass strokes are running all around the ball. So, Instead of drawing a particular black line, they have opted for the black brush strokes because that signifies the blurring of the boundaries between different countries in Europe. 
this has blurred away all the boundaries and it has promoted that football is beyond any boundaries it's a game it's a positivity we should spread about it not negativity and not bad languages about any other country so unity is the top most priority of this particular tournament now what does this particular neon green neon blue and neon pink demarcate or it shows this actually shows the bright culture of europe this shows the bright culture and also historical assets that belongs to euro and they are proud of their culture and they are proud of their particular uh, things so these all are getting reflected in the match ball now while i was actually researching about this particular topic about the reason behind the design of the match ball so uh, in a particular interview the product i mean the product designer okay of the particular match ball has said that while they are designing a particular match ball they are trying to depict some story they are going to they are trying to uh, make the match ball in such a way that it will tell some story it will tell some story to the whole world and this particular motive has got them to de design this particular ball in that manner which actually reflect the actual motto of this particular tournament so having said that these are all the details about now why you should know that because what is the reason behind knowing this particular information because uh, there is nothing to do this will not come in the examination what is the reason this the reason is that the main motto is that we have we i want to show that how priority they give to their particular culture how they are how they are proud of their culture they are not ashamed rather they want to promote it via football they do not consider football as a war but rather they consider football as a way to get friendly between countries blurring away their boundaries so this particular mindset this particular thought needs to be inculcated in all of the countries and Uh, it 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 can be only promoted through football because or any sports event because in this particular event only two different nations come to the same stadium to support their own players and two countries literally, literally remain in the same stadium in spite of their divide division so to have this particular mindset the thought of the people or the product designers or anything any who have designed the ball these need to be inculcated in the mind of various people and one should think in this way also how to be proud of their own culture so this was all for today and uh, in the upcoming video we are going to discuss about the various base camps of various playing countries who are playing for the euro for euro cup 2020 So, what will be their base camps? Where should will they have their bases? Because twelve different countries are hosting this particular Europe UEFA Euro Cup 2020 this year, and so for their for this reason, various countries have been the host. The countries need to have their own base camp. So, what will be the base camp of different countries? Like Spain, Netherlands, and all these we need to discuss about these particular things. So, in this in the upcoming videos, we will be discussing about all these things and. so for now it's time to leave so we will come in another video regarding this topic about the base camp and for now uh, goodbye and see you and have a great soccer day enjoy